Welcome everybody to my first ever makeup tutorial. This is a big deal for me. Um, but I'm just gonna be showing you how I like to do my everyday makeup look. I like to usually go for a pretty natural look, I like to think, but I always feel a little more confident when I feel like I'm putting my best self out there to the world. So, no further ado, let's get started. My favorite, favorite makeup product is Color Science. Um, you could tell, I mean, obviously it's my favorite because all my products are like extremely used. But I just love this brand so much. So, okay, that's my foundation. I love the Color Science foundation especially because it's an all natural makeup and it is a sunscreen. This is 50 SPF. And I just think that is so important. One, it keeps your skin looking younger, longer, which becomes very important to you once you get into your 30s and above. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen. But also, because it's a natural makeup, I was amazed that I stopped breaking out once I started using this. I have had acne my entire life, and I really think that I was breaking out because I was putting cheap makeup and cheap foundation on my skin every single day. And so by being kinder to my skin and just putting natural products on it that aren't like clogging my pores, it's been amazing. I did not expect that when I started using this makeup, that it would actually make my skin clear. The fact that at the beginning of this video, I was wearing no makeup, um, I don't think I would have had the confidence to do that several years ago because I would have had, um, because I had a lot of acne. Now I'm gonna do a lovely contour with uh, the Tan Color Science Foundation. Oh dear, oh I wasn't looking, I was talking. Oh gosh, okay, like I said, this is my first makeup tutorial ever, but I'm just gonna kinda powder it. Oh, it's way too much. You know what? The lesson to be learned here is that anything is fixable. <laughs> so I put on a little too much. Oh dang, I got more! Is this a comedy routine or a makeup tutorial? Okay, um. <laughs> um, yes, I am a professional at a lot of things in life. A makeup artist is not one of them, but you know, it's, it's amazing. I do my own stage makeup actually for every show. So I've had to learn how to get good at doing makeup and I've been told go up. So if you do too much like I did, just use a little bit of your foundation or a powder to kind of blend it in. It kind of just buffers the whole thing. This is one of my favorite products. Again, you can tell I use it a lot because it's like completely worn. It's their three-in-one eye cream and it's a foundation for under your eyes to get rid of dark circles. It's also got products in it that act as a sunscreen as well and it's renewal therapy. So there is product in here that actually helps your skin rejuvenate because underneath the eyes is where all this ladies, especially, struggle a little bit. And that's why people make the comment, oh, you look so tired. And I just wanna say, oh, <laughs> you, <laughs> you mean. <laughs> I need to come up with a better, okay. It makes you look more awake. And it's almost like it's a little highlighter, a little tiny touch, a brush. Smile, put it right on your cheekbones. Oh, and again, I always overdo. Then I take my trusty little buffer and I fix the issues. A little pop of highlighter just gives you that little dewy look. And I kind of like to live life as if I am a mystical fairy that like just popped out of the woods and I feel like just a little touch of highlighter does that for me. They say the brows are the window to the soul. No one ever said that. So this is what I use for my brows. And I personally like to use an angled brush and just fill in what I already got. And I use just a little bit of the same thing for underneath my eye just to give it just a little bit of dimension without looking like, you know, I'm going to the club. I just want to go to like brunch. On stage, I have to wear quite a bit of makeup. I sometimes look at myself in the mirror before a show and I'm just like, ah! Terrifying. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeliner on here. Okay, this is another dangerous moment. Eyeliner, this could be. All right, this is a scary moment. The eyeliner. Luna, don't move. Oh, she's gonna mess me up. So, 
because my eyes are angled slightly down, not like crazy, but just a little bit down, I like to make the eyeliner go just a little bit thicker as it gets to the outer edge of my eye, and then I like to pull up in a slight little wing, and it just makes my eyes look more awake. And I usually figure out the angle of the wing with my eye open, and I make a little dot at the part where I want it, and then I close my eye to connect to the dot. A lip! It's in my BB-8 backpack. So, this is my favorite lip gloss. I feel like it's appropriate for if I really want to get dolled up or even if I just want to look like I've had it, you know, woke up like this look, you know. But this color is rose. It also has an SPF of 35 because your lips can get sunburned too. It makes my lips look bigger whenever I put this on and I don't even have to do Botox. I feel like because you guys are watching, I am so nervous. You know, there's so many reasons I love the Color Science makeup, one of which is because I just think it has a really fresh, natural look. Secondly, I love that it has a sunscreen so it can protect my face and my skin and keep me looking young and youthful. Um, thirdly, I love it because it's natural and it has literally saved my skin from breaking out. I don't break out anymore and I really think that the only thing that really changed was the makeup I was using. Anyways, thank you for watching and indulging me. Um, I hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial. Um, basically, it was just so I can show you the products that I use because people have asked me. So, um, thanks for being a part of my life. I love you guys. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs>